Hey everyone, Ryan from U-Bike Escape, and today I'm kicking off another interview series. In my previous one, I interviewed Kevin Duggar, the owner of Ride One Up, and I was really excited to get to talk with Kyle, who founded Bolton E-Bikes. If you've done pretty much any research on electric bikes, particularly on YouTube, there's a good chance that you've come across his content. So we covered a bunch of different topics in our interview. In this first section, we talk about how he came to found Bolton e-bikes and kind of his background and I'll be releasing more videos in the coming weeks for you to perhaps enjoy during some downtime during the holiday season so I hope you enjoy it and I've been getting some requests to bring on some other guests and the easiest way for you to help me make that happen is to subscribe to my channel you'll also find links in the description to my electric bike accessories list and my electric bike deals page for the brands I follow with that let's kick off the interview series with Kyle, the owner of Bolton E-Bikes. I hope you enjoy this. All right, so welcome Kyle from Bolton E-Bikes. Uh, thanks for being here with me. I'm really excited for this uh, conversation. I think there's a lot of interesting uh, topics that we can cover. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there are. <laughs> Any, as long as it's about e-bikes, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, yes. Um, so, I mean... It, from my perspective, most people who have been doing any research on electric bikes have probably come across at least your YouTube channel, if not more. So Kyle has both a podcast, a very popular YouTube channel. He also reviews other e-bikes, and he has a, maybe the widest variety of electric bikes for sale on his website. Uh, it, definitely one of the top. Um, and not only that, but he stocks uh, like accessories and um, like upgrade options for popular bikes and has something relatively new called Bolton Labs, which we're certainly going to talk about. Is there anything I missed there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that gives people a pretty good introduction. Yeah, we do, we do a little bit of everything. Um, definitely not everything out there. There's so much more that we aren't doing, but I, I feel like if there's something to be improved upon or if there's some way I feel like we can benefit e-bikes as a whole, then we try and do it. Yeah. So maybe just to uh, set the stage a little bit, maybe you can talk about first how you came upon electric bikes and how you came to start Bolton e-bikes. Uh, and then I think it's just super fascinating, the origin of the name. I, I know you did a podcast <laughs> episode about that, but maybe you can just mention that as well. Sure. Uh, I mean, I grew up like most kids riding a bike. Uh, and I, I rode a lot. I was on a mountain biking team for a little while in high school. Uh, I did a lot of road biking around that age, kind of early college years as well. Uh, and it was all just for fun. And I was also into electronics. So as a teenager, I was building, you know, radio controlled cars, airplanes. I was changing them out from at the time, you know, nickel metal hydride batteries to lithium batteries and brushless motors as they were just starting to come out um, to kind of give you an idea of where I was at on electronics at the time. And one of my first experiences with an e-bike was, it's funny, the, the first e-bike I think that I ever rode was one that I built completely from scratch for a college project. So before that, I was just into bikes in general. And basically, I, I was in a mechatronics course, and the final project was we had to build something that used a microprocessor to do something. Uh, most people came in, and they had, like, a little circuit. They would blink some little lights or, or do something pretty basic. And I was like, I want to build an electric bike. And the professor was like, you know, he'd review you basically your not necessarily an application, but your proposal for your project. And I just remember he wrote across the top in like a red pen with like 10 exclamation points. He was like, very ambitious. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, I know it is, but I'm going to try and make it work. And, and most e-bikes then had uh, lead acid batteries and like a brushed like 24 volt motor. There wasn't a lot that was much more advanced than that. If there was, there weren't very many. Um, and I was like, all right, there's got to be a better way to do it. Like these airplanes were using lithiums. We got brushless motors. I'm going to try and adapt one of those setups to it. Um, so it was a ton of work and it was really hard. But proud to say the first e-bike I ever built, 
I built the circuit board, I designed the circuit board, I wrote the code line by line to make the whole thing work. Um, it didn't necessarily work that well <laughs> mechanically compared to what we've got now, but at least it worked and I, I passed that class. Um, so that was, that was my very first e-bike that I made, not the first one I bought, but that was the very first experience. Um, and, and what year was that? Oh, that's a good question. I don't. You caught me off guard on that one. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to backtrack and think about that. Um, I could probably figure that out. It was. Let's just say it was about ten years ago. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, so look and see what e-bike company was in business ten years ago, and what were they building, and yeah. that will give you a good idea. And and it would probably be really hard to find many e-bike companies that were open at that time most of the ones that are out today are you know five years i think um there's a few that i think know might be around like eight years old eight nine years so they were yeah. about to get started around that time um and then uh several years later um i basically came across one of these indiegogo crowdfunding campaigns like a lot of people that had an e-bike for a really cheap price with lithium batteries. And I was like, eh, a lot of people say that's too cheap. It's too good to be true. I'm like, I mean, it makes sense. Like, it's possible that they could make a bike that could be that price. So I decided to take a chance and buy a couple. And that was the Saunders bikes. And uh, they showed up and they worked as advertised. It wasn't anything super fancy, but they worked. Uh, and I started upgrading them pretty much right away, um, you know, looking for different parts and pieces. What can I do to make these bikes a little bit better, a little faster, you know, more range? And that's what really got the e-bike business side of things started for me, mm -hmm. uh, is that I started modifying things. And then people started asking me, oh, how did you do this? How did you do that? And next thing you know, I've got a website selling motor controllers and motor upgrades and parts and then batteries and uh eventually it kind of snowballed to to where i had upgraded other companies bikes so much that it was like why don't i just build my own bikes at this point right. um so that's why today when you go to the bolton e-bikes website you'll see that i sell bikes but then it's like i have a rad power upgrade kit. <laughs> it's like some people are confused, They're like, why are you selling parts for other companies' bikes and reviewing other bikes and selling your own bikes? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, and to me, it makes perfect sense because that's what I've always done. Right. And, and I wouldn't know what's on the market today if I wasn't still looking at the competitors' bikes and taking them apart. Because um, that's the only way to know what they're made out of is strip them down to the parts and see what's being used. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, we're just guessing to some degree. So that's a long answer to part of that question, I know, but hopefully that helps. Yeah. And so what year, like, did you really start going full board, creating Bolton, doing all those accessory packages? Uh, so 2015 was when the company officially started. It was under a different name, which we don't even need to get into because that's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I changed the name... Um, a couple years ago to Bolton uh, because it was simpler, it was easier to pronounce. <laughs> and uh, the other reasons for that name were the fact that um, my middle name comes from my dad's middle name, which comes from somebody that's of significant importance in our family history, whose name was Curtis Bolton. So Bolton is a surname that runs in my family on my dad's side. Um, and that's how I got my middle name. But beyond that, a guy with the last name Bolton, who knew, um, filed the first patent that I can find or attribute to what I would consider a modern day electric bike. Um, and that's, you know, that's public record. You can go find it on Google. And that was back in 18... 95, which is probably a lot earlier than most people would guess <laughs> for yeah. an electric bike. But I just thought that was so cool that here's a diamond frame hub motor bike with a battery in the middle of the triangle in 1895. And so between the family name, that, and I just thought 
Bolton, like a lightning bolt and electricity. It was just the perfect name for an e-bike company. And honestly, I was surprised that I couldn't find anybody who'd used it before. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, it seems like a, a perfect fit. Um, so that was a couple years ago. And, and in fact, if you look at my first few YouTube videos, you'll see the older company name, like on the intro, you know, I didn't bother changing it on this first sure. few videos. I just left it there. Um, but that's when I started just putting out YouTube videos. And it was, uh, initially the idea was I'm getting more emails than I can handle. You know, what if I just put out a video to answer this question? So instead of responding to everyone, I can give them a better, more detailed answer in the form of a video. Right. Um, that did not slow down the emails at all. <laughs> um, obviously, that has just made things grow and grow um, just tremendously over the last couple of years. So YouTube has definitely been our, our biggest driver of traffic for Bolton e-bikes. And, and like you said, that's how most people find me. <laughs>